Many families across our town have found the Christmas period a financial struggle. And for the increasing number already living in poverty, it would have been particularly hard. Thanks to donations from the community, we've been able to provide some additional Christmas treats, some warm blankets and socks, hot water bottles, books, toiletry gifts for adults and toys for children. We're hoping this offering will go some small way in easing the struggle families face and bring some comfort today at Christmas. 2022 has been a very busy year for all food banks and Eastbourne is no exception. In fact, in November, we provided more than 2,700 food parcels or 27,000 meals. Too many people are having to turn to the food bank as the first port of call when they experience financial crisis. We're actively campaigning for change and last year we called on decision makers locally to ease the hardship being faced by so many. We asked our local authority for a 100% reduction on council tax for those on the lowest income, something which already happens in Lewis. And we'd also like to see a more accessible crisis fund. In East Sussex, it's difficult for people to access an emergency grant if they find themselves in crisis, whether that be a bereavement, a redundancy or a broken boiler. At the moment, criteria for such funding is almost impossible to meet. Likewise, the discretionary housing payment is a short-term measure, giving people time to bridge the gap to either move to a cheaper property or increase their income. But with huge rent rises across the town, finding cheaper housing is almost impossible. This discretionary housing payment has now run out until April, which is unprecedented. This kind of emergency support should be available and accessible always, not just in times of national crisis. We understand we're living in incredibly challenging times and we hope to continue to work with our local authorities in 2023 and together explore ways that we can help those living in poverty and try to ensure that everyone has the benefits they're entitled to. On a national level, we also stood with the Trussell Trust in 2022 and called for benefits to be uprated in line with inflation. We're pleased to see this was included in the Chancellor's autumn statement but as we head into 2023, we'll be urging the government to bridge the gap between now and April. We believe there should be a minimum income to protect people from destitution. Food banks should be the last resort. And, we move, and as we move into 2023 with hope that the situation can and will improve for people living in poverty, food banks are not the answer. We will not allow this to continue and we will actively work towards our goal of ending the need for large-scale food banks. We are part of a wonderful community here in Eastbourne, and we hope that we can all work together to create a better future. So we would like to wish our clients, our supporters, and all the agencies and the decision makers we've been working with throughout 2022, Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and hopeful New Year.